Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please check the link in the description. Perfect, so let's get started. According to an incendiary book, the late monarch was reportedly incensed when her grandson called his daughter Lilibet. In a surprising turn of events, a new revelation in the Lilibet naming saga has been exposed. The late Queen Elizabeth II's fury over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's use of her cherished childhood nickname for their daughter. According to excerpts from royal biographer Robert Hardman's latest book, published in the Daily Mail, the Queen was reportedly as angry as I'd ever seen her. When the Duke and Duchess publicly claimed to have her blessing for naming their daughter Lilibet, Royal editor Rebecca English sheds further light on the Queen's sentiments, disclosing that the monarch was deeply upset by the Sussex's decision. English shares a pognant quote from the Queen, who allegedly told aides, I don't own the palace, I don't own the paintings, the only thing I own is my name, and now they've taken that. Despite speculations that Harry and Meghan may not have intended to cause distress, well-placed sources revealed that the Queen was indeed upset over the matter. BBC's royal correspondent Johnny Damon reported that the Queen was never asked about the use of her childhood nickname, disputing claims made by the Duke and Duchess that they had received her blessing. In response, the royal couple insisted they wouldn't have used the private family nickname if the Queen had not been supportive. A legal letter from Harry and Meghan labeled in the BBC's report as false and defamatory but the organization chose not to retract it. Renowned royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams backed Robert Hardman's account, describing him as an authoritative voice on the subject. Fitzwilliams emphasized the significance of Lilibet as a charming and deeply personal childhood nickname, exclusively used by the Queen's close family members and intimates. He criticized the Sussexes for co-opting it without the Queen's approval, deeming it outrageous behavior that brought distress to her last years. As the Lilibet naming controversy continues to unravel, it highlights the delicate nature of personal and unusual names, especially when they are deeply intertwined with a loved one's legacy. The clash between tradition, personal sentiment, and public disclosure has ignited a royal dispute that adds another layer to the intricate tapestry of the British monarchy. So what are your thoughts on this explosive revelation? How do you think the alleged use of the Queen's childhood nickname for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's daughter will impact the already complex dynamics within the royal family? Drop your opinions in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now!